ultimate air dogs is just dock jumping and all it is is dogs running down a dock and jumping in the water and having fun and what we do is we see how far the dogs can jump we have different sports but uh, the basic sport is distance jumping and that's what most of the people like to do Well, I got started doing uh, dock jumping because I saw it on television. I saw the Free and Incredible Dog Challenge on television, and I go, my dog can do that. And we found uh, an event, we went to the event, and lo and behold, my dog jumped zero inches the first three days. He wouldn't even jump off the dock. I thought he would just go in and jump 25 feet like he does at the lake, but it wasn't the lake, it was an indoor event and for three days he wouldn't jump. And I thought, well, this isn't the sport, but I stayed with it and we went back three days, uh, three weeks later and he won the next event. So you gotta stay in there and, and, and fight hard. So a year after I started dock diving, we met, my mom found out about Ultimate Air Dogs and then we mel met Milt. The first time I jumped my dog, I threw the toy to the end of the pool and he said, hon, I think you threw the toy too far. I said, just wait. Pulled my dog back and he sprung off the dock jumping 20 feet. And after that day, we were in love with Ultimate Air Dogs because it was just fun. Uh, my dog got to have fun. Milt fell in love with my dog, was sweet, and sweet to my dog. Hi, my name is Chad Lennon and this is Jada. Well, with this sport, uh, it's, it's really a team. As much as people don't realize it, if I throw bad, she jumps bad. How I train my dog is I first get them comfortable with the water, and so I hold on to them real tight in the water and get them secure with the water versus just throwing them in. And then after that, what I do is I'll use a toy and just kind of get or get in the water and get them to jump to me. And then I use the toy and throw it up in the air, and then more I'll use hang it off of a pole, and then get them used to jumping up higher and higher, and it helps get distance. <laughs> The best way to get them to jump the farthest is you want to get some good height off the dock. And so what you'll do is, it has to do with your release. So you want to hold the toy high enough to get their head looking at the toy. And your angle is about a 45 degree angle that you want to throw to release the toy. And get the dog so it follows the toy in the air and then so that it, it lands with its vertical. Well, how we start out with it is we tell everyone that if they can't come to our event and train, try from a shore. So go to a beach or something and get your dog going off the shore for it. Then find a dock with a little bit of an edge, like a little bit of a lift to go jump in. So it's got like the edge kind of like our dock. And then slowly increase your dog, getting it going, 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 and then work on a sit stay or work on a place and send method where you throw the toy in the water, wind your dog up and send them. Well, really what you want to do is you want to build the dog's confidence up. You want the dog sprinting down the dock and just leaping into the air as fast as he can. Speed is the main ingredient. If you got speed, you got a chance to have a champion. Then what you got to do when you have the speed, you got to get the dog to get lift. And you get a little bit of air, that's why they call it big air. You get a little bit of air uh, angle on the, on the jump with a lot of speed and that's what gets you out there around 26, 27 feet. The hardest part about training a dog is mostly in my mind, attention span and working with the dog's needs, because every dog is different. You can't tell a dog to do something, every dog to do something the same way. Hardest part about training a dog is getting them out of the water. They love to stay in the water and they love to swim, and you get a lot of different dogs. I think the number one breed for not getting out of the pool and swimming a lot is the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. They get in the water and all they want to do is swim, swim, and swim. Sometimes you have to swim in and get your dog out. What makes this most rewarding for me is that my dog is happy. My dogs are crazy. I run my dogs five hours a day. The most rewarding part about it in the end is that I get to go home, have my dog smiling and sleeping in the back of the van. That's the best part about it for me. Oh, it's just so much fun, the crowd getting them involved and seeing the reaction of the dog is, is amazing. Maybe it's because we have a special connection with them. Maybe it's because they're meant to be our friends. I don't know, but all I know is that I don't know what I'd do without my dogs. I really don't. <laughs>